Greetings, Cropture here, Raid Shadow Legends, free to play as always, and today we are on the main account. Um, this is account with continuation uh, after the Hal Hades free to play challenge for 2024. Let's check what day we have 114. Yeah, so we are closing to four months uh, in the game. And today main topic will be about the preparation uh, for the next fusion because the Vixwell, the next fu uh, fusion champion will be very important for every account especially for those that do not have uh, proper um, clan boss demon lord team for ultra nightmare because in my opinion uh, this champion will help a lot and uh, yeah, so maybe let's uh, show me uh, my uh, clan boss team. And uh, I think if you are able to build similar team, uh, you will be ready to go to try to compete with uh, this uh, boss. Okay, so again, so let me take a look uh, what is now my uh, composition. So we got High Katoon. Uh, the speeds. So if you want to uh, deeply go to the speeds and and stats and how how this team working, uh, please uh, back to my previous uh, videos about that. Now I briefly will just go uh, through those champs and uh, what what will be the Vixel impact in this uh, team. Uh, so uh, speed booster and uh, speed aura. So high katoon. Everybody uh, in 30 days will get her. Valerie uh, campaign farmer. So her main uh, thing is uh, increased buff duration. Uh, Toragi ally protection and some uh, chance to uh, put a decrease attack only 40%. Um, under Priest Brogni, so his main thing is uh, block debuffs, the rest uh, like shield is just to survive, increased attack is a very good one for Latalos, because I'm using Latalos in this team, his main damage dealer. Um, yeah, so Latalos main da damage dealer, that's all. Um, also Brogni is very good in this team composition because of the HP burn that he have a chance to, to land. Okay, so now Vixel. Vixel will also, with his A2, uh, bring uh, buff extension on the free turn cooldown, the same way as Valerie here. Uh, but besides that, he will uh, bring a lot more. So on his A2, which I'll try to put on the screen uh, all his uh, skills, uh, he will additionally uh, will have chance uh, to place, I think 100%, uh, to place decrease attack, which will be uh, much better than 40% from Toragi. Uh, so decrease attack should be all the time uh, on the clan boss, which is very important. Uh, he will also bring uh, um, shield extension, which will also very well synergize with uh, Under Priest Brogni, because he's putting the shields. Uh, on his A3, he additionally puts some um, buff, uh, this is increased defense, big version, uh, which uh, here Valeri is just placing a shields and he do some healing. Um, and uh, also, he will play, uh, put a big shield, I hope. <laughs> uh, both the, his skills are on free turn cooldown when booked. And yeah, that's, that's very, very uh, important here. It will be easier to speed tune uh, this champion. Um, yeah, uh, besides that, yeah, his shield is based on the number of... Um, uh, based on the defense, right? And his A2 is... Uh, shield extension is based on the number of buffs so here in this team i have a lot of buffs uh, so increased speed uh, ally protection uh, with shields uh, increased attack yeah now we'll got uh, increased defense uh, and block buffs right so this is five or six i don't remember <laughs> uh, but that, that's a lot of buffs uh, that th this team a team will have and it means that this shield should be uh, shield extension will be pretty significant. Uh, so 
um, why this will be important for my team because so far I'm usually on daily basis I'm doing it on uh, free, uh, free keys uh, very rarely on two depends on the RNG but mostly free keys but if we got spirit clan boss uh, the, this green one uh, it will uh, take even four keys because Rotalos is then weak affinity here um, yeah, so that's that's my setup, uh, and this team uh, with those speeds uh, that I can quickly show. So two four eight, uh, two two eight, two two six, uh, one ninety three, and uh, this is special one because yeah, but he's very slow. Uh, one six five. Yeah, so with those speeds, this team working in two to one ratio. So we got. Uh, a lot of moves uh, in uh, every round. Okay, so in my opinion, uh, this uh, new champion will extend uh, the fight uh, till a lot because he will bring increased defense, uh, which is huge, and uh, I will have a decreased attack consistently uh, on the clan boss. And so those two things are very important to just mitigate the damage because this is not unkillable, this is a killable team so based on your stats and buffs that you have uh, that, that uh, will be the duration of the run uh, here. Okay, so now let's quickly uh, maybe take a look how I'm preparing uh, for this uh, fusion. So. Yeah, so on that basis I'm collecting uh, and doing the clan boss, Ultra Nightmare, uh, double chest uh, on, on the higher level, highest level. So, so far I got uh, four secrets, a lot of uh, voids and a lot of uh, ancient shards. All the primal shards are coming from Life Arena. So, in my previous uh, episode I was showing what I'm doing. Uh, regarding to the to do progress in the faction wars, so I already got some improvements here. Um, and fi uh, farming, uh, farming, fighting in the life arena, so we got already some additional uh, speed, so 12 uh, resistance. And also we got started. Uh, I started adding some to accuracy. So before accuracy, I finished what I could uh, to bring more resistance for the Doom Tower. Uh, so 48, that's a lot of resistance, will help uh, for sure in the Doom Tower progression. Uh, so that's what's going on here. And uh, besides that, uh, for the fusion, what, you, what else do you need? Uh, in my opinion, you need a lot of food uh, to do both champion trainings. And I think this fusion will be a little bit tough because this champion is very good. Uh, so I prepared already a lot of food. So this is my reserve vault. So plenty of food here. Um, also I've got here a lot. So <laughs> I'm running out of space. Uh, yeah, so that's 3 stars to 30. Here I'm preparing another set of uh, 4 stars to 40. Uh, this will take a little bit. Uh, yeah, but in terms of food, uh, I will have plenty. Um, books. Uh, I've got already 9 books, legendary. Uh, for Vixel, you need 11 uh, from what I saw. Uh, so only 2 left to just fully. Uh, skill uh, upgrade skill uh, this champion so if i'm preparing for fusion i'm also preparing all the resources to hopefully build him right away and get uh, benefits uh, using him yeah so that's that's very close also what we'll have uh, for sure as usual free artifact enhancements so for that i already collected uh, 18 millions of silver but i'm also have big bank in the gear which i probably will need to clear at some point so got uh, 37 millions here um 
yeah and plus in accessories because i'm farming spider also uh, let's check here a 17 millions here yeah so at this point i know i will have enough silver to complete three or i would say even five uh, artifact enhancements if needed um so so i'm safe here um, regarding to the energy so every second day you are getting this uh, refill uh, from the shop uh, so i'm saving those so four five six seven eight so this is more than 1000 energy which will help a lot and i'm also saving all my gems so i'm not spending them um yeah generally that just wait shadow legends right so we're preparing for the next uh, fusion as a free pro for as a free to play because yeah if you want to s or wish to spend that that's fine uh and you can pr just avoid that yeah uh, th those savings yeah but but uh as free to play yeah try to prepare yourself and yeah uh, do not stress during the fusion just uh uh, make it uh, easy and nice so in terms of the points for the uh, summon rush right so I should have uh, 2000 here and other one more thousand here points uh, here I think there is more than 2000 points here almost 3000 yeah so I have a lot of points here uh, so part uh, so some of them I will use on the summon rush and for champion chase for sure ancients and maybe voids so that that's better idea uh yeah but hopefully there there will be some to access so so far we got to x on uh primal uh, i need to skip it because i think this fusion will be challenging because of the champions that they are providing providing yeah, so I will be uh, stay on the safe side <laughs> on this event. Yeah, um, so that that's think that will be all. Um, I think uh, if you are able to do the fusion, please do uh, to, to do not hurt yourself and try to. If you do not have clan boss team uh, for the ultra night modes, so this this champion will be key component for that. Um, yeah if you want to build an unkillable team if you got some unkillable jumps yeah so you can skip it <laughs> but uh, yeah he, his skills are also good for for hydra so yeah i think this is must have uh, fusion okay so that will be all for today uh if you agree or don't uh, please let me know in the comments and see you on the next one cheers